All right, real quick, wanted to go over this ANAB, the evolution of a swing trade. Um, I'll show you the different ways I like to take profit in these swings. So let's let's talk about the trade a bit. All right, you see this. So first, starting off, earnings gap up, very strong bar, holds the gap up. So we're very bullish. Then it gives us those two, three weeks of consolidation that we love. That's great. Gives us a nice tight entry. So you see here, here's the high of this day with 64. It gives us a little. So what is this high of this day? 6680. So I bought 67 with a stop around 6450, 65, um, 250 risk, $2 ish. So 10 to 1 is, uh, I mean, 5 to 1 is $10 winner. All right. So then I, that's, that's around this, this $80 area. That's the first way I trailed out of some stock. Once I hit 5 to 1, I'm going to scale out of some stock. Then I was trailing some on the eight day simple moving average, which is this one right here. And you see it closes below. That's usually an indicator uh, to take some stock off. Now, uh, I got definitely some shaking out of some stock here, but uh, it looks very close, but I'm still selling for $16 on $2 risk, which uh, that's that's great profit. But um, So I stuck with it, um, and I I knew I got sold, uh, what is it, shaking out of some stock on the 8 SMA here, so I tried to hold that, and now, now that it gapped up here, I didn't take any profit off here, until the end of the day, until I put in this horrible candle. Um, 115 is where I got most of my stock. And then my final, my final feeler, this this 21 day simple moving average trail, I got out of this day around 106 ish or something. It was it was towards the end of the day, but so my price 66. And now the beauty of these two methods on trailing on a moving average is I don't really have to think about it. Um, I'm just looking at a daily chart. I'm letting the stock work by itself, and I don't have to over-execute and ruin the trade. So I made 70%. It took me took me what uh, two two three months to do it, but it was it was such an easy trade. I you know buy 67, stop 65, and I rolled it out for a $60 winner. You know on two dollars risk, a 31 risk reward. So um, that's why we like to use these moving average trails that we really don't have to think about too much. We just want to we want to give the stock room to breathe because if we're over executing it, we're more than likely gonna gonna tell ourselves we're seeing something we're not, and uh, sell stock too early. You know the the problem most traders most traders think the they they lose because they have too many winners. It's the main problem with new traders is they don't make enough in their winners, and then they lose too much in their losers, and that that little equation is what is what kills them. All right, so that's how I look to trail things on moving averages. All right. Good luck. Happy trading.